Mm. Cheers. I have so much foam on my sock. I teach gymnastics and like if you're in a gym, you know, it gets everywhere. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm very hyped right now. I'm drinking my yerba mate and like heaven knows these get me going. Um, anyway, today, oh, my head's itchy. What is my hair doing? <laughs> Look at this dude. Ugh. Anyway, the point of this video is about healing piercings. A uh, little disclaimer in this video, kind of like disclaimer, I don't know. Um, but I'm not like talking about every little like minute detail about like healing your piercing. Of course, don't touch it as much. Like just, and if you're going to touch it, make sure your hands are clean because bacteria, ugh, ugh. Yeah, everyone's piercings heal different times and rates and stuff. So, you know, your your body might take longer to heal. Um, and everyone's like, oh, look, twist your piercing. Don't, don't freaking twist your piercing. It rips off the inside scar tissue. I mean, scar tissue. The inside, like, stuff and scabs. And it just makes it try to, like, create more. And then it creates scar tissue. And it's not good. Just don't twist your piercings or make them move. Now, my, like, hoops, they tend to move a little more. Um, and so some people are like, don't get hoops. But I wanted a hoop, so I got a hoop. But it worked out fine. And with this cleaning stuff, like, I feel like you can keep track of it pretty good and no issues happen. Um... But yeah, that's like base. I'm not really covering the basics as much. Um, there's a really good guy on YouTube. Let me look. Uh, Rolly, I think it is. It's R O L Y. Um, on YouTube, and he has like a lot of piercings, and he has a really good in-depth video on piercing. Um, so definitely go check his video out. But mine is like I say, my video kind of goes along with his, but as different products to use on your piercing. So I have my nose pierced. I made a video about it. I did it myself, love that. Um, but people were like, oh my gosh, it's gonna get infected, you did it yourself, oh my gosh, no tea, no shade, but like, it didn't get infected, just so you know. And because I, I know how to heal it, and I'm gonna tell you guys how to heal it. If you're getting your nose pierced or anything, like even going somewhere, my ultimate tip is to get this stuff. Like seriously, get this stuff, it's insane. H2Ocean, one word baby, just go get it. Um, it is a like sea salt. Okay, so everyone tells you just make salt water, but that's not that sterilized. And this also has one more property in it that really helps heal it. A little backstory on my piercing. I got it done in January, January 16th. It's now February 25th. I cleaned my piercing consistently for like two weeks with this stuff. And then I left for vacation and I was gone for a month. And during that entire time, I did not clean it once and it just took care of itself. Like. Even before I left for vacation, like, it healed up so quickly. Also, now this is kind of, I feel like, could be a little bit controversial. Con controversial. I use essential oils on my, um, piercings. I use lavender and thieves. If you have really good quality oils, you can do that. It's actually super good for it. I would definitely recommend. But make sure you have a very good oil. Now, they can be pretty expensive, which is not fun. But it's so worth it. Um, I use the brand Young Living. I think it's, like, an online... Thing. You can get it in some stores, but it's pretty finicky on where you get it. Um, this is Thebes. This is what I use mainly. It does burn when you like put it on your piercing and turn your ring. Um, and it does burn, but like people will literally drop this into open wounds because it kills any infection. Like it is very, very strong stuff. I would not recommend using this stuff like purely or straight without any like other oils to dilute it, except for on your piercing. Um, and so it does burn, but that's just it working and killing any bacteria or like your open wound too. But this also helped heal it up so quickly. And I also use lavender on it um, to help with blood flow. That brings a lot of healing blood to the nose. This bottle comes in two different sizes. I got the baby for to travel with it. Um, I actually got this one because I was like, this is all I need. But then my friend, I was gonna pierce her nose. And then some stuff happened and she was like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wait till later to get it done. And she had bought this stuff for herself. And so she gave it to me. Well, actually I bought it from her. Um, <clears throat> more testimonies on this stuff. My friend um, pierced her belly button and she was having a really hard time having it heal. And so I gave her this stuff and within literally like three days, it was healed up. And also my ears. So I pierced my ears myself. Um, a couple years back. They just were not healing. I think I had the wrong jewelry in them um, And it was just not going good and then I switched out the jewelry got really good quality stuff But that still was not working like they got a little better. They were still pussing like crazy. They were nasty I started using this stuff and within a week it was completely clear 
So this is like my holy grail. Also, look if you need any more like proof that this stuff is amazing, kills bacteria, go on Amazon. The reviews are all like literally insane about it. People have really infected piercings and this just clears it right up. So get this or or don't get it, but I recommend it. Also, how I clean my nose with it, I just grab a Q-tip. I have a little sack. This is my Pella case sack. It's the same brand in my, as my phone case and it's all like biodegradable and like earthy stuff. Good quality. Um, anyway, I just take my Q-tip and my stuff. Okay, well my cap came off, but we're gonna put it back on like so. Now I would usually like hold it on or like into this cap to spray it so that it doesn't go everywhere. But I just go like, okay, well it doesn't want to work, so I'm just gonna push it down. I just take some on it. I have a mirror right here, so I'm gonna look at that. And then I just literally, or you can spray it directly on, I also did that. Um, just go in there and then inside the nose. Everyone's different, so you know, you could, some people would heal better than others. But I didn't think I was one of those people because I'm always like really weird with wounds and stuff. But if you have this stuff, like, magic, dude. Pure. Oh, it's working now! Yes, okay, we're good. So, Sometimes I would literally just do this. I'd take a cotton pad, hold it under my nose, and then just spray it onto my nose like that. That's a little bit kind of scary to do that, but it does work really well. And then just dab the excess on. Okay, yeah. So that's literally all I do. If you have any other, like, you can spray it directly on it. Um, and then with the thieves, I just take a tiny bit on a Q-tip again and rub it around it. Um, and lavender I often apply to my finger and like dab around my nose there. Uh, and that has been my best bet. It healed up so quickly. I kind of want to do a second nose piercing on top of it. So I have two there just to see if I can heal it up that fast too. I uh, thought about doing my cartilage. Um, Y'all can yell at me in the comments for like destroying my nose and doing it myself. But you know, so be it. I think that's like basically all I wanted to say. Like, I forgot to film an actual outro. So here's me just drinking my drink. And thank you for watching my video. And have a good rest of your day. Love you bunches.